And since we're talking about NFED antennas, I have an NFED half wave with a wire for 20 meter band. I want to add a coil to talk on 80 meter bands. How can I find the coil details to extend the antenna? Oh, uh, you got to get the antenna book. I'd have to look that up. Um, yeah. So the issue, though, that you run into is if you add a coil on a shortened antenna to try to get down to 80 is that your bandwidth is going to be like just a sliver. Mm -hmm. Um and it's going to change every time you set the damn thing up. You're going to be like, it, it moves, you know, it's going to be like, um, it's going to be like duck hunt. You know, you get there with your little Nintendo entertainment system and you know, the dog is going, <laughs> cause you'll never hit it. <laughs> right. So you got to be really careful when you're doing that, but I'm sure if you look you get like the, you don't even have to get the most recent AWRL antenna handbook. Yeah. Find one from yeah. 1950s has probably got it in it. Uh, but you got to calculate uh, how much additional inductance you're going to need and the antenna to get it down into that that 80 meter range. But like I said, it's going to be a sliver of, band a sliver of bandwidth. Um, mm -hmm. So take that for what it's worth. You'll probably need to tune her even with it. Um, if you can find a spot that's three to one or better, you're probably that's about the best you're going to get. You know, I'm wondering uh, if you can if you can't if you've already got an infed half wave, if you can't just add more wire to it for the 80 meter band. That would be um, the best thing to do. So like you did, your um you just made a little connectors with um power pole connectors, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So that may be an interesting uh solution for you. Instead of trying to add a um a coil, you could just add more wire, really. Um with those little connectors and, you know, maybe if you get like a, a porcelain um, insulator mm -hmm. and then wrap both of your wires through that, and they don't have to be connected. In fact, they shouldn't be. But then when you want to use it, it's just like a link dipole. You can just you pop those together and that would just, be better. Just swap those and links out. Here. So you, yeah. So if you had an NFED, say 10 through 40, and then you wanted to add, you know, add 80 because you don't need 80 all the time. Just, yeah, just, tie in that extra piece of wire and, and spread the whole right. thing out. It's yeah. Yeah. I, okay. Trying to, trying to get a 20 meter end fed to work on 80 is going to be a challenge. You can try it. I mean, you're going to need a pretty big coil on it, but I think at the end that you are just be able to add wire at the end. You know, now that we're, now that we're thinking, talking about this, I do remember that um, Dave White, um, he's got that, um, he's got the 10 through 40 infit half wave and he built a little coil to add to the end. I think he was, if I remember right, the inductance was 110 micro Henry's and then okay. he added, and then he added a, um, about 18 inches of pigtail at the end, um, Depend and then you add a little bit more or a little bit less of the pigtail, depending on where you wanted to to put the um to put the dip because it was paper thin it was like 20 kilohertz thin so right if, okay yeah, if you're you, working cw yeah but, so you can get it yeah. yeah so you could you could drop it down to cw or drop it down to ft8 um anywhere up in phone it was <laughs> it was a mess because it right. was you know if you looked on the analyzer it was it was like you know, five to one, six to one, and then it go, and then it's it just, it's just sharp. It's just a sharp drop. And then it's, yeah. so, um, that video, if you search my archive of videos, it was the one we did about two years ago at black river state forest. Um, and I don't know if I can find it or, or not quick. Uh, but, um, if I can, I'll see if I can. We'll post it when we repost this question on your questions asked in a few weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're in the future. We know what's going to happen. Yeah. 20 kilohertz is really thin. Um, but um, it's, if, if it's, it's really nice if you wanted to get on a net on a certain frequency on 80 meters, or if you wanted to work, you know, if <laughs> it was a really small range, um, he built the coils for um so you could use it on on ft8 and cw and it was right. that was that was just enough bandwidth for that for those purposes but on phone it was yeah it was it was tough to, to really yeah it was, it was a mess but it was doable so and it works so <laughs>
KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpol-antenna.com.